Hello, everybody, and welcome to a new episode of your Pennywise podcast from Lee Enterprises. I'm your host, Terry Barr. Going to start with a question today. What do you think of when I say the word debt? I know, I think many of us go, ooh, wow, and typically think debt is bad. Well, we are going to learn some things today that uh, may help us understand how debt can actually be turned into something good for your financial health. Okay, we've got Sarah Rathner here with us today. Sarah is a personal finance expert with NerdWallet. And Sarah, as always, great to see you. Great to see you too. Thank you. Okay, so why do we think about debt? Are we, I don't know, trained in that way somehow along the way that debt is a bad thing? Where did that come from? Well, these are lessons that we learn growing up from family members and people in our community. Um, there are a lot of people who are very debt averse. I mean, I don't love debt. I don't love that I have a mortgage, but it's reality. Um, so there is a lot of shame that comes with being in debt, especially if it's perceived to be the cause, like the reason you're in debt is because you spent your money frivolously. Mm. And so now you don't have money to make ends meet. You have to take on debt because you were irresponsible. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that can certainly happen, but that's not the case for a lot of people with the debt that they need to take out. Yeah. The word debt, it it does. It sounds kind of evil, doesn't it? Yeah. It's hard to say with too many consonants. (laughs) Well, and, and debt can be a tool as you're mentioning in your overall financial picture, but what does that actually mean? So debt is a financial product. And it's something that you can utilize when you're buying something so big that you don't have the cash on hand to afford it outright. That could be something like a home appliance, like a new refrigerator. It can also be something as big as buying a house or a car or going to grad school or or college. Uh, There are lots of things that we want to do in life or we need to do in life, but it would take decades to yeah. save the money you would need to buy something outright. And, you know, if you want to buy your first house by 30, probably pretty unlikely you started saving from the moment you were born to have the cash on hand to buy the house in full. Absolutely. So a little, some debt one at, at some point or another in your life, um, it's, it is a reality for a lot of people. Mm-hmm. Okay. The picture is becoming a little more clear now, and there are three ways that debt can actually work in your favor. I like this. Let's talk about the first one. When uh, something is going up in value. Yeah, so that's what we typically call quote unquote good debt because it can help you afford something that will increase in value, like an, an asset like a house or other property or your education because that can help improve your earning potential earning potential over the course of your career. That being said, of course, houses don't always go up in value. Degrees don't always lead to six (laughs) figure salaries, uh, unfortunately. And so you do want to be mindful of the fact that it's not a slam dunk investment here. You might be taking on debt to basically pay for something that's not going to enhance your life overall. Mm -hmm. And that is a risk, but that's why it's important to go into these decisions carefully and comparison shop for loan options to see if there's a better deal out there for you. So if you are borrowing money, you're doing it under the best possible circumstances for you. Okay. Yeah, that absolutely makes sense. And then we've got, you know, three ways. The second way is a major purchase, but now this time we're still not talking about homes, are we, or or your education? Right. These are smaller things. Uh, Things like buying a new appliance for your house, rent, you know, doing a home renovation. Um, there are lots of reasons to borrow money and there are ways to do that beyond going into massive credit card debt. Uh, so if you're, you know, for example, let's say you're buying a new washer dryer, you could put it on a credit card that has a 0% interest promotion for a year or more. That gives you a nice long time to pay off that bill every month in smaller increments without paying a penny of interest. And so you have borrowed money, but you haven't, you know, supposedly wasted money on interest 
uh, in order to make that purchase. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then there are also other ways to borrow beyond credit cards. Let's say you want to do some home renovations. Mm -hmm. You can look into home equity lines of credit or a home equity loan. Those are both ways to tap into the equity that you have in your property. If you bought before the pandemic, before home prices went up, your equity in your house might be higher than it was to start, you know, substantially higher, more than you expect. And so tapping into that can be a way to borrow money at a lower interest rate than credit cards. Okay. So there are options. You just got to know where those options are, where to look and what to kind of go after. And, and it actually sounds like it is advantageous. Yeah. It's, 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 it's really about finding uh, the most good, bad decision. Right, <laughs> that's that's right. a weird way to well. say that. But if borrowing money is suboptimal, mm -hmm. find the most optimal way to borrow money. Perfect. That will cost you the least, that will have the term, you know, the monthly payments you can handle. Um, and hopefully you won't end up in over your head in debt forever because right. you were thoughtful about how you went about this. Yeah. Okay, there's there's a number three to this one. Mm -hmm. This is the tough one, I think, because it means you're looking at unexpected costs. And that that really does, I think, scare people. And that's what we think of when we think of debt. So what do you do about that? Yeah, these are scary because they're beyond your control. Right. Uh, things break, things in your home break, there's a leak, your car breaks down, or worse, you become ill or you get injured and you are faced with massive medical bills. Yeah. And these are the kinds of things that really get people in trouble. And the thing about emergencies is they happen at random. And sometimes multiple emergencies happen at the same time. It does feel or, like that sometimes. Or one right after the other. <laughs> um, and you, know, you, you don't necessarily always have the savings on hand to support all of those burdens at the same time. And that is where debt can come in handy if you need it. Uh, even if it's just to get by for a couple of weeks until you have the money on hand to pay things off. But first of all, your credit card can be a source of backup emergency funding. It's not ideal because it's high interest, right? but in a dire situation, it can be there for you. So one thing you can do is if you are in a stable financial situation right now, your income's good, your job is secure, maybe call up your credit card company and see if you'd be eligible for a credit limit increase. Uh, that's not to spend more money. It's just to have more money on hand if you need it. Mm -hmm. uh, you could also apply for a second credit card to have additional, you know, and just use it periodically and pay it off and just have it in a drawer and have it available in case you need to put a charge on it uh, in an emergency situation. And again, if you have things like a home equity line of credit, that's another source of funding you can tap into for unexpected expenses, like a big leak in your house, things like that. Wow. Do you ever think it's an okay thing to use that credit card, even though there is an interest rate attached to it, mm -hmm. if you don't have one of the 0% ones, use that in that unexpected emergency, and then maybe go get a personal loan or try to figure out a different way to then wipe out the credit card? Yeah. If you need more time to pay off a big balance, mm -hmm. there are things you can do to lower the cost of credit card borrowing, like a personal loan. Uh, that can be an option, uh, especially if you have a lower credit score. You might, it depends on what you qualify for. If you can qualify for a loan that charges a lower interest rate than what your credit cards charge, then you can save money that way. If you have good or excellent credit, you might want to look into a balance transfer credit card. That allows you to move your debt onto a new credit card that has a 0% interest yeah. promotion for a long time. And that's a, another really great way to buy yourself some time so you can pay off your debt interest free. Okay, so what is the bottom line to this and thinking about debt in sort of this different way? You know, it's, it's, it's about everything in moderation. <laughs> so if debt is dessert and being financially responsible is vegetables, uh, there's room in life for both. Can't have only vegetables, right? You, sometimes <laughs> you need the chocolate. Right. Um, and, and you just want to think about, you know, if, if you, if you don't fear debt as much and you're faced with a situation where you need to take on debt, it can help like clear your head and say, okay, well, I'm taking on debt. I don't have like negative emotions about this. I just need to find the way to borrow money at the best possible terms I can qualify for. Yeah. And if you look at it in that direction, you're going to end up getting better loan terms or better borrowing terms. You're going to save money. It's not going to cost you as much as it would have if you just 
you just kind of feel so much shame that you take the first available option and you try not to think about it. Right. It's okay to think about it and be strategic. Excellent. I think that's the bottom line. Definitely <laughs> strategy when you're dealing with your debt. I love it. Sarah Rathner, always terrific to talk with you. Sarah is a personal finance expert with Nerd Wallet. Thank you again, especially for talking about this kind of topic today. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, and I'm Terry Barr, your host of the Pennywise podcast from Lee Enterprises. Thanks for listening, and we will talk with you again next week.